Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Saturday, September 23rd, 2023, the Memorial of St. Pius of Petrolcina. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of, and of the, the Son, and, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest, St. Pius, a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry, renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 8, verses 4 through 15. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When a large crowd gathered with people from one town after another journeying to Jesus, he spoke in a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path and was trampled, and the birds of the sky ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky ground, and when it grew, it withered for lack of moisture. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell on good soil, and when it grew, it produced fruit a hundredfold. After saying this, he called out, Whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. Then his disciples asked him what the meaning of this parable might be. He answered, Knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to the rest they are made known through parables, so that they may look but not see, and hear but not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those on the path are the ones who have heard, but the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, that they may not believe and be saved. Those on rocky ground are the ones who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, but they have no root. They believe only for a time and fall away in time of temptation. As for the seed that fell among thorns, they are the ones who have heard, but as they go along, they are choked by the anxieties and riches and pleasures of life, and they fail to produce mature fruit. But as for the seed that fell on rich soil, they are the ones who, when they have heard the word, embrace it with a generous and good heart, and bear fruit through perseverance. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection the lesson in today's gospel is pretty clear. Not everyone who hears the word of God responds the same way. Some people's hearts are hardened and unresponsive while others may initially receive the word of God with joy, but it withers away when life gets difficult, just like the rocky ground or the thorny soil. But the parable also offers hope as it highlights the fertile soil that receives the word with an open heart and bears abundant fruit. St. John Chrysostom, who was a revered early Christian theologian and preacher, once said, The cultivation of the soul is more important than the cultivation of the land. These words underscore the central message in Luke's Gospel today. Just as a farmer must prepare the soil for a bountiful harvest, we must prepare our hearts to receive and nurture the Word of God. But I suspect that you already know how to do that if you're listening to this reflection. You know that prayer, the sacraments, and meditating on the Word of God is how we prepare our hearts to be with God. It's how we plow and fertilize the soil of our souls. But that's easily undone if we're not careful. 
For example, if we continue to entertain negative thoughts about people by participating in gossip, when we constantly pollute our minds and hearts with shows and media that pull us away from God, or when we self-indulge on a regular basis with things that might hurt us if we're not careful. God calls us to be vigilant, steadfast, and always on guard. Matthew 4 tells us to stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. And 1 Peter 5 tells us, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. We're fortunate that generations of Christians have written words to help us to prepare to be vigilant and steadfast because they experienced many of the same temptations that we experience today. Let's pray today and let's ask for their intercession and prayers so that we can be a generation of saints who inspire the next generation of evangelists. And so today, let's pray and strive to be diligent cultivators of our souls making our hearts receptive to the life-transforming Word of God. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers, which includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.